Okay. Last but not least is configuring the EKB 500 so it can integrate with the EPTZ and the DVR for communication. Here's a quick layout of the EKB 500. Okay, you'll see one is your main function keys. You have your monitor, your DVR, and your cam keys. Two is your three axis joystick. Three is your LCD display screen. Four is the jog and shuttle dial for DVR control. Five are your DVR reserved control keys. Okay, that's for the EDR and EDVR series. Okay, the EKB 500 will also control the E cores and the Paragon units also. Six is your speed dome reserved keys. And seven are your number keys, clear and enter also. Okay, here's a quick breakdown of the EKB 500 menu. You'll see you have your COM port setting. And then from your device setting, you have your camera settings, your monitor settings, your DVR settings camera list and delete, monitor list and delete, DVR list and delete, and non-listed devices. And then under the keyboard settings, you have your sub-keyboard setting, your menu password, your lock password, buzzer on and off, joystick calibration, keypad test, jog and shuttle test, and the load default settings. Okay, what we will be going over today is setting up your COM port setting for basic control of the PTZ cameras and then setting up the DVR settings so you are able to control the DVR using the EKB 500 and linking them all back to your main monitor. Okay, your first screenshot here is your COM port setting. Okay, to get into the menu, you would hold the menu key, the shift key, and then hit the menu. Okay, and you'll see the COM port is blinking, and then you'll hit enter on the COM port settings. And then it's gonna go and ask you to do a series of things, and you'll see that on your right. It first will start off with asking you what port you are connected to into the back of the EKB 500, one or two. You would type in one or two and then enter. The next it's going to ask you is for your board rate. And again, you can select between 1200, 2400, 4800, and 9600. Once selecting your board rate, you would enter. The next screen will pop up asking you for your protocol. Okay, you have your different types of protocol, the EVF1, EVF2, Okay, and it is actually listed wrong here. EVF1 is for the EverFocus EPTZ series. EVF2 is for the VProtect Speed Dome. I do apologize about that. If you're using the EverFocus protocol, make sure to use EVF1. Okay, you have your A-type, which is your Samsung SCC 641, 643, and 6405. Pelco D, Pelco P, Panasonic, and the L-type. Okay, and then last, after you choose your protocol and hit enter, you will see down in the bottom right-hand corner that the port that you have just adjusted has changed and you wanna hit enter to save. Now, once you have hit saved, you should be able to go back, back and now successfully control your PTZ camera. Okay, now the device setting. Okay, the device setting is setting up the camera to work with that DVR. So if you are controlling multiple DVRs, by typing in that camera number, it knows which camera to pick off of which DVR. Okay, first you're gonna choose the camera name you're working with, okay? You can u simply use the PTZ ID as a camera name. Okay, the next step, again, it's going to ask you what 485 port you're connected to into the back of the EKB 500, okay? Zero is for a fixed camera, and then you have one or two, okay? So port one in the back or port two in the back. Then it's going to ask you for the 485 address of the dome. So you simply type in the address of the dome again. And then it's going to ask you where the video is connected to. Okay, it's gonna ask you for the ID of the DVR and the channel. So inside the DVR menus, you are able to ID. If you had three different DVRs, you are, are able to ID each DVR, DVR1, DVR2, DVR3. And in that screen, you would put which DVR you're connecting to and channel, which channel that PTZ camera is connected to, okay? By setting up the device setting this way, it is able, the keyboard itself is able to, as soon as you choose that particular camera, know what DVR it's coming off of and be able to control it so you do not have to specify which DVR you wanna pull up. It will automatically, the keyboard, once this process is set up, the keyboard is smart enough to tell which DVR you're looking for and which camera and will automatically gain control.
and then you have your monitor setting here. Okay, if you are using a couple of different DVRs, and DVR1 is on one monitor, DVR2 is on a second, and DVR3 is on a third, you would want to go ahead and type it in. You're going to name monitor 1 for DVR1, monitor 2 for DVR2, monitor 3 for DVR3. And it's simple. Again, you would go ahead and hold the shift and hit the menu key. Okay, you're going to go down to device setting. And then under device setting, you have your monitor setting. Okay, it's going to ask you for your monitor name. So for DVR1, you'd use monitor name 1. Okay, it's going to ask you where the main monitor video connected is to. Okay, so you would choose DVR number 1, monitor 1. Okay, and, um, actually, I apologize. You're going to choose DVR1. And then for monitor, you'll look to the left on the, the little table below, and you could choose. You can choose the main monitor, which will be main. Okay, you can choose a call monitor, which would be call, and then you have your matrix output monitors. Okay, the spot monitors one, two, three, and four, and you could choose M1, M2, M3, or M4. For the most part, you will be using the main option, okay, and that's for the main monitor. Now, once you have defined those two, it's going to tell you monitor number has changed, enter to save. Now, again, if you are using multiple monitors and multiple DVRs, you would simply go ahead and down the line for DVR2, name monitor name 2, and then it's connected to DVR2, and the monitor would be main, and so on and so forth. Okay, now if you're looking to control the EKB500 and the DVR, you would want to go under the DVR setting. Okay, again, you can, under the DVRs, you would name them all under their 485 port. Okay, so you'd be naming them by numbers, DVR 1, 2, 3. And the EKB 500 is going to be asking for that DVR name. So if we're setting up DVR 1, you'll put in DVR name 1, enter. It's going to ask you what 485 is connected to on the back of the EKB 500. You're going to choose 1 or 2. Okay, it's going to ask you for the 485 address of the DVR. Okay, and whatever you have addressed it underneath the DVR, Okay, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 99, 100. You're going to put that 485 address in there and hit enter. Then it's going to ask you your DVR type. Okay, you're going to define it by channel, 4, 8, 9, 16 channel. And then the last screen there is DVR number that you've made, named, changed, enter to save. Now, once you have done and you've entered to save, you now will have control of the DVR. So if you do have the DVR locked away somewhere, you can have the EKB500 sitting in front of you, and this will control your PTZs and the menu of your DVR, so you do not have to be in front of the DVR at all times. You can control both DVR and the PTZ camera all from this keyboard. Okay, this is just a brief description of choosing the different monitor selections. Again, if we were using uh, three different monitors or three different DVRs, I would go ahead and type in the monitor number and then hit the MON key or hit the MON key, the monitor number I'm looking for, and then enter. And that will pull up the particular DVR you're looking to work with, and it'll have all the cameras listed as you did under the camera setting menu. Okay, you'll see down at the bottom, it's, if you select a monitor that is a DVR main monitor, depending on the monitor setup, the LCD will show DVR in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, so if you're controlling just the DVR with that monitor, it'll show you that it's controlling DVR. Now, <clears throat> setting up the camera, pulling up the camera selections, you're able to hit the camera number and then the cam button. You can hit the cam button, the camera number, and then the enter key or you can hold the shift key and hit the camera number and that will pull up the camera. Okay, if you selected monitor as a PTZ camera, you'll see to the right in the middle that it will display a PTZ. Now down at the bottom, if you're choosing a monitor and a camera that are both designed and set up correctly, okay, you will see it, it displays DVR and PTZ to allow you, it's allowing you to know that you're controlling both a DVR and a PTZ. Okay, or if you're controlling just the PTZ or controlling just the DVR.